President Biden is considering making a public address on the balloon incident before he leaves for Poland. He leaves for Warsaw on Monday. Joining us now is Mario Parker, who leads the team covering the White House for Bloomberg. Mario, one of the things that stood out to me was this warning of China, from China of retaliation. Um, what does Beijing mean when it says it will take countermeasures against the U.S.? Or do we even know what that means? Well, this is expected, right? Some of this saber rattling uh, from uh, both sides is expected. China has accused the United States of also flying surveillance balloons over its territories as well over recent years. And so you can kind of expect some of these tensions. What's notable, though, what's happened over the last 24, 48 hours, say, is that both sides are trying to dial back the temperature some here. You're seeing some rhetoric that's softening out of China, out of Beijing, but you're also seeing some of that rhetoric out of the U.S. and the White House starting to, to dial back as well, given uh, the, the heightened temperatures that we've had over the last, call it 11, 12 days or so. Yeah, Mario, hey, it's Alex. This is where I feel like the ASML thing is quite interesting. Um, and I appreciate that that's not a U.S. company, but it is hard to get a clean read on where the tensions are between the West and China. ASML, chip stealing, proprietary information, um, continued rhetoric around the balloon that seems to have dialed back, like you said, where does that, what, what's the real read on this from the White House? Look, Alex, the, 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 the tension on the balloons is the rhetoric, some of the temperature around that is trying, they're trying to dial that back again, both sides. But nevertheless, we keep this in relative terms. The tensions between the U.S. and China, the world's second largest economy, are really, really high, right? As in a fractured Washington, D.C., the one thing that both sides agree upon is kind of like this hawkish rhetoric toward Beijing. You're hearing it from President Biden. You heard it from his predecessor as well. You're hearing from here it from both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans alike. So there is just that tension as these two economies compete with one another. 